Hey guys, I'm really excited to share a styling tip with you today. This one comes straight from one of my viewers. Her name is Teggy. Teggy, thank you so much for asking this question. I've heard it before, but it's been a long time since I've heard it and I appreciate your question. So I thought if you had the question, other people must too. What I call it is the half tuck or the haphazard tuck shirt. You may call it something else. Um, you see a lot of stylish women doing this with their shirt. It makes it look like you aren't trying so hard. It makes it look more effortless, but really you are trying and it does take effort. Like all effortless looks do, honestly. There's no such thing as effortless, like everything takes effort. The same with that no makeup makeup look. It takes a lot of makeup to look like you don't have makeup or to perfect that no makeup makeup look. So it's the same concept. I'm gonna show you how to do that haphazard tuck or the half tuck of your shirt. So this is a no iron um, check shirt that I got from Banana Republic recently and I really like it. Um, I'm excited about it because it's a no iron shirt. I hate ironing. I haven't ironed in a decade. So um, the no iron option is always uh, desirable for me. Okay, so basically you've got your shirt, it's out like this, and some people will just wear their shirt like this, which is fine. A lot of a lot of guys wear their shirts like this, okay? So what if you have a cute belt on or you want to do a cute belt? There's a lot of different ways you can go about this. You can do just the half tuck, which would be just one panel, and you leave the other panel out. Because I really want to show more of the belt, I'm going to tuck the whole front in, but leave the sides out. So it's still in the back out. So it's only half tucked in. I've just tucked in enough in the front so that you do see the belt. But it doesn't feel like too prim or too stuffy. It has more of an effortless vibe about it. So you could do it that way. And again, you can just take one side and even unbutton the side here. Okay, so let's. If you need to do, you can easily just unbutton the last button to give yourself more wiggle room. So you can just tuck in one side and leave one side out. Let me first show you what it looks like with just the one panel tuck in full length. exact thing with a t-shirt. It doesn't have to be a button-down shirt. You can do just a plain white t-shirt. Okay, so you've got your cool white burnout t-shirt. Of course you'll have your pendant necklace on, which I don't have on right now. And then you want to do the half tuck with the t-shirt. You're just going to do the same thing, but you're going to take one side, tuck in a chunk, done. That's it. So the t-shirt I would say is a little bit different and a little bit easier to work with. And there's your haphazard tuck. So you guys can do that, right? It's so easy. Piece of cake, no problem. Let me know if you have any questions about the haphazard tuck or the half tuck. And if you have any other like little style questions like this that um, seem like a small thing but maybe it could help other people, Feel free to email me, let me know what those questions are. I think they make great video topics. I'm Erin at BusbyStyle.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, subscribe to the blog. That's BusbyStyle.com. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Um, unless you're invested in the fashion industry, you probably don't care where the trends originated or how they came about. You just want to know what they are and what you need to buy, and that's what I'm going to talk about. So first, 